Okay, I put this video together for you guys. Hopefully it will solve your issue too. So this is what I did. Here's how I did it. So make sure you've got your cable ready, connect it to your laptop, PC or MacBook, whatever you're using. Click on connect on Betaflight, load up Betaflight, click on connect. So once you've connected to Betaflight, go into the settings to the left and click on CLI. This will open up this window. Go to the first step of these instructions, which I'll put in the comments below. Copy and paste the first command. Go to the CLI window again. Once that's pasted in, you will see the default setting is 48, which mine was here. Obviously, it wasn't long enough for the actual flight controller to stop seeing the noise it was seeing. So I changed it to 100. The second line you'll see is the one you're looking at, really. If I highlight that, you'll see it. So that's the second line. It's obviously showing 100 because I've changed it now. So now it's the command to change that setting, which is this one. So copy and paste that into the CLI window. So you'll see it's showing you that it's changed that limit. It's important that you actually take this step now and type in save. So once you've typed in save, the quadcopter should reboot. Now you need to check that those settings have been saved in beta flight. So just reconnect. Go back into the CLI window and go refer back to the instructions. See um, step four, copy and paste that back in. This will just check that those settings have been saved. So as you can see, line two is now set at 100 now. So that should work. It worked for my quadcopter. And once you've got those settings checked, you can just disconnect the quadcopter in beta flight, then try it out. So my particular fault was it would arm most of the time, but sometimes it refused to arm. You get a number of beeps, long and short, which you can check. So the flags for arming through beta flight, you can check also. I'll link to the page, which covers a lot of the troubleshooting, but mine was different to a lot of those you know everything was set up correctly it was just the board was um, picking up some sort of spikes or noise and it wouldn't allow the machine to arm the quadcopter to arm whereas now it seems to arm every time if you look at the instructions I will link to the page where I found the information which was most helpful but in my case this was the fix Hopefully, if you've seen this where you can't always arm the quadcopter, even though the other checks are you know, fine, the accelerometer, the CP usage is fine, you know, the other checks have all worked out fine, then you need to revert back to this one. Give it a go, see how you get on. This is TJ.